hasa kakangu uh, Orengo na wengine kumpatia mama Mishi Hongera ijapokuwa wakati tulikuja kotini kwa mara ya kwanza wakati uliitwa first of all uandikishe statement sisi tulisema tunajua hizi ni mipango yale yale ya jubilee ya kuendelea ku intimidate watu tulikuwa tunajua kwamba wao mipango yao ni kujaribu kukutisha na tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu amekujalia umevuka hapa na utavuka kwingine amina na vile vile nitoe shukrani kwa mawakili wetu ni kwamba sio walikuja kwa hii kesi kwa sababu ni mawakili tu lakini walikuja kwa sababu wanaamini na msimamo wa demokrasia na utotezi wa nchi hii so leo hii mimi nataka niwaambie ya mishi yameisha tuwashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu but we are aware kuna mengine mengi yatakuja lakini sisi tujitayarishe na tuseme hatutoogopa waje mchana waje usiku sisi tuko tayari kwa sababu ya kutumikia wananchi mimi najua najua kuna wengine wawili watatu they are targeted hapa juzi tuna habari kwamba kuna wengine wawili watatu mimi nasikia first of all kuna mtu anafanya kazi ofisini kwangu anaitwa Meja Idris I'm told is another target there are few aspirants ambaye pia nimeambiwa at they are also on their list sababu at wana insight watu siku kama president anakuwa na mkutano huyu rais wa Kenya amechaguliwa na watu na sisi tunayempinga tunafaa tuambie watu sababu za kumpinga na kama kusema sababu ni uchochezi ni uchochezi basi shauri yenu my friend tutazisema kila siku tutasema kila siku kwa sababu hii inchi hii inchi hii inchi ina msingi wa demokrasia inchi ina msingi wa nini wao wafanye kampeni yao na sisi tufanye kampeni yetu wao wafanye kampeni yao na sisi tufanye nini na sisi hatutukane mtu misha hajatukana mtu misha alisema hii inchi ni wa Kenya 42 sasa kama wewe kupeleka mtu kotini kwa sababu ya kusema inchi ni 42 sijui makosa makosa atakuwa ni kitu gani kama kusema hivyo ni makosa basi sijui makosa atakuwa ni nini lakini sisi tunasema tukae imara tuhakikishe kwamba haya mafunzo tunayofuata hapa sasa iwe sababu msingi ya kwamba tutasimama pamoja tarehe nane, mwezi wa nane, mwaka wa 2017 uhuru kinyata william ruto na watu wake waende wapi na alafu sasa sisi tukiwa na serikali ya nasa ikiongozwa na raila amolo odinga tutawapatia wao uhuru wa kukritisai serikali na kutupatia upinzani baada ya 2017 hatutoa haras hatutoa shika hatutoa tusi hatutoaita majina yoyote kwa sababu tuwajua nchi hii yetu ina misingi mizito ama mikali ya demokrasia tumeelewana hapo lakini nataka nitoe shukrani kwa wakazi wa Mombasa mmetusupport sana umetuunga mkono sivyo na wabunge wengi sana Misha amesema wabunge wa Mombasa but i want to tell you wabunge wengi sana wa Pwani na Beyond Pwani wamekuwa wakisimama na Mishi katika mtihani huu kabisa kina Aisha Jumwa kina Kamoti, Kamoti kina Junet Mohamed so we have brothers and sisters from the entire Republic of Kenya ambao wana tu support na umsukumo wetu sivyo kwa hivyo kaeni strong msiogope msibabaike it is just a matter of 4 months it's a matter of how many months 4 months tutarudi kuwa katika Kenya ambayo tunaitaka wote sivyo kwa hivyo nasema asanteni na washukuru wabunge waliokuja hapa leo Senator Stuart Mazayo mjomba wetu huyu mheshimiwa wa Marmwinyi mbunge wa Nasimba wa Changamwe na Hatimi Badi Twalib mheshimiwa Mayor Muhdhar our last mayor of Mombasa na wengineo wote nasema asanteni kuja kuungana na Mishi na washukuru Mungu awalinde na wabariki asanteni sana Mishi ha! So this is the live picture that we're getting uh, just uh, from Mombasa a couple of minutes um, um, from Mombasa I believe that outside the court we have different leaders addressing the media there so what you need to know again breaking news there at the bottom end of your screen 
The court has dismissed hate speech case against Mishimboko. She faced two courts of uh, two charges of uh, incitement. We've had uh, from uh, James Orengo as well as uh, Mombasa Governor uh, Ali Hassan Joho giving their thoughts on what the case was all about. And of course, a little bit of politicking. I can see Mtalaki there trying to see if you can get for us a link and try to explain what he has seen so far. He has been there since hey. morning. Uh, for us. Uh, those are live pictures coming from Mombasa. So the two stories are following for you from Mombasa. So one, you have Jubilee aspirants who are complaining. They're saying they're dissatisfied with the manner in which the party is being run at the coast. And then two, the story that we have just aired for you, the breaking news on your screen. Mishimboko is now free. Uh, the court has dismissed uh, cases of uh, incitement that were against her. She faced two counts. Um, Mtalaki, I can see Mtalaki trying to see if we can uh, give us a link. Can Mtalaki can you hear me? All right, so we're trying to see if you can speak to Mtalaki. He's been at the court um, for us, just trying to attend that court case. Uh, Mishimboko, they're addressing the press, saying she's grateful that this case has now come to an end. Ali Hassan Joho, the Mombasa governor, of course, uh, trying to pick out on um, that not very good friendly relationship that he has with the president, saying as the opposition they have the right to um, talk to the president and pick out the areas where they think he's not right and... Uh, bring it to his attention. And then James Orengo also talking a little bit about party politics. I'll have a conversation about this with uh, the analyst in studio with me as well. We'll be speaking to Dan Sanomari and Gabriel Muthuma in a few minutes. Just trying, to pick in, uh, just trying to pick out on some of the issues that were raised by James Orengo and Mishimboko and uh, um, Asan Joho. Their statements they have made that if you read deep into them, they say a lot about who the presidential flag bearer may be for NASA. We'll try and see how that goes. Let's now bring in Mtalaki. I can see him on uh, the split screen. Mtalaki, good morning. We do know that the courts have dismissed the hate speech case against Mishimboko. What else do we know? Well, good morning, Linda. The reason as to why the, 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 the court has dismissed this case is on account that there was no evidence. And remember that there, is a, there was a video uh, that was b b b brought before the court that there was no, there's no one to authentically say that uh, uh, the, the, he was the one to, who shot the video. And so that was the key point as to why Justice... Uh, uh, and Nangea dismissed uh, uh, this case and saying that there was no evidence as to uh, the, 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 two, uh, the, the, the two cases, the, 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 the two issues that uh, were facing the Mombasa uh, women's representative, which is uh, Mishindoko, one with Mishimboko, sorry, uh, and one was, uh, one was uh, with regard to the utterances that he made during the uh, Madaraka Day celebration in 2014. And today, uh, we, we also heard from the uh, prosecution side, they are saying that they are going to appeal. So from now, maybe like, we'll also go back and see if uh, the prosecution will be appealing uh, what they have been uh, they have been saying at the inside the, at the coast basically and, and trying to see where where the prosecution will be dealing with this case with regard to Mishimboko and the the, the case that is surrounding the head speech that he made that she made sorry on 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 first of June in 2014. Linda. Mm. Mtaraki, this is a very interesting turn of events plus some of the utterances that have been made by different political leaders there. All right, so apart from the Meshi Mboko story that are following um, this morning, Talaki, we also know that there is a little bit of disquiet in Mombasa. We do know that today is the final day of um, Jubilee aspirants to submit their nomination papers. That is happening at the Jubilee headquarters. And a section of Jubilee aspirants in Mombasa um, County now say they are dissatisfied with the manner in which the party is being run in the county. What is going on? Well, here in Mombasa County specifically, and the Jubilee issue is that uh, there seems to be a shift in terms of uh, the leadership here at the county level. Uh, yesterday, I spoke with the, uh, the Secretary General for Mombasa County, that is from the Jubilee side, since that there's a shift. The board itself is uh, the, the board that uh, the county board that uh, is mandated to carry most of the operations here at the county level are not in agreement. And so, most of the aspirants who are vying for the positions of, let's say, the women representative, uh, MCS for that matter, 
and also the member of parliament under the jubilee ticket are kind of not satisfied in the manner in which the, the operations are, are carried out. This is uh, driven by the fact that there are also allegations that uh, after the Tony Roca rally, there were those guys, people who were, uh, were called like mobilizers who were, who, who were used to, who, who were mandated to uh, bring supporters of the Jubilee at the Tonoroka ground have not been paid. And so those are the issues that uh, are coming here after the rally and also uh, some of the as aspirants are saying that uh, there, there seems to be some of the uh, uh, some of the aspirants are, are favoured for that matter. And so w maybe we wait and see how the Jubilee side here at the, down at the coast. I understand they were scheduled to have a press conference at 10 a.m. but they have pushed it later in the day. But we'll be getting in touch with the, the Jubilee, uh, the Jubilee uh, 